up there if this is clear so that we can move on to the next question great tell me what do you think is the answer to this one now again a lengthy question let's have a look at this one impairment of which of the following is the most likely cause of these findings we are looking at the options we know it is something related to acetylcholine on postsynaptic membrane uh, then you have presynaptic so something related to your neuromuscular junction myasthenia gravis lambert eaton syndrome so what do you think will be the answer here nay do machale a se incorrect answer se is not how you do machale right correct answer i don't know you have some uh, weird names here very good the answer here is definitely going to be the presynaptic release of uh, of acetylcholine okay it is because uh, what are you seeing here what is the most important history that is given here there is pronounced a weakness of the hip girdle muscles shoulder girdle muscles right and on the chest x-ray there is a hilar lung mass okay and uh, remember that it is improving with repetitive testing very very important keyword here all these are important here so when you will uh, you know solve these questions in the fast five and then you'll be able to remember a particular condition better because this is like a case that you are seeing uh, all of you would agree that if you see a case in your wards in your clinics in the opds right you never forget that case so similarly if you solve clinical questions on the topics that are asked in the exam you remember them in the form of those questions that was what was put in the question and the answer was this particular option so in this question why am i highlighting these points here weakness of the hip girdle was um, uh, uh, hip girdle muscles is basically in your lambert eaton syndrome you have proximal muscle weakness which is more the hip girdle is a proximal muscle okay it improves with repetitive testing important here and the hilar lung mass hilar lung mass is basically telling you small cell lung cancer small cell lung cancer associated with lambert eaton syndrome with myasthenia what would have been the answer uh, the option correct for myasthenia binding of acetylcholine on the post synaptic membrane so what happens in lambert eaton and in myasthenia is so in the lambert eaton the problem is for the presynaptic remember l comes before m comes after that so presynaptic is lambert eaton and myasthenia is postsynaptic this is presynaptic voltage gated calcium channels affected and that is why depolarization not happening the neurotransmitter is not released so it's a problem with the release of acetylcholine in myasthenia gravis it is a post synaptic acetylcholine binding which is a problem in myasthenia it is basically the fatigue the weakness which increases with exercise with action more in the evening all that is given in myasthenia gravis so that is going to be the history for myasthenia gravis this is the lambert eaton syndrome okay this is lambert eaton syndrome so let's have this fast snippet again comparing the neuromuscular junction disease myasthenia gravis and lambert eaton syndrome okay so myasthenia gravis is more common clinically that we see here the antibodies against post synaptic acetylcholine receptor here it is pre synaptic calcium channel which decreases the acetylcholine release here clinically what do we have here ptosis is given very commonly right there is bulbar muscle involvement there is difficulty chewing here it is proximal muscle weakness and there can be autonomic symptoms also autonomic symptoms like dry mouth constipation impotence all these can be seen with lambert eaton syndrome right and uh, so remember that uh, here the reflexes are spared here you will see hyporeflexia also the reflexes are depressed in lambert eaton okay and you have this worsens with muscle use it improves with muscle use with muscle use the acetylcholine accumulates and the symptoms improve 
okay myasthenia is associated with thymoma anterior mediastinal mass while this is small cell lung cancer in uh, in your uh, myasthenia gravis if you use a acetylcholine esterase inhibitor which increases the acetylcholine uh, levels it reverses the symptoms and here it has minimal effect so what do we use for treatment is pyridostigmine pyridostigmine gets the patient rid of myasthenia okay so this is what is shown here the antibody to calcium channel will be seen in lambert eaton syndrome the antibody to post synaptic acetylcholine receptor will be seen in myasthenia gravis is this clear with everyone right small cell lung cancer has a lot of paraneoplastic syndromes lambert eaton is one of that as a paraneoplastic absolutely right it is one of the paraneoplastic associated with small cell lung cancer okay is this clear with everyone very good chandni so this is about your third question myasthenia is very very important what drug do we use in the diagnosis of myasthenia and what drug do we use in the treatment treatment we have seen is pyridostigmine for diagnosis of myasthenia gravis it is for diagnosis of myasthenia gravis the drug that we use is edrophonium it's a short acting acetylcholine uh, esterase inhibitor drug remember dr doctor makes the diagnosis edrophonium dr doctor makes the diagnosis okay tensilon test is what it is called